It seems more and more new drugs are popping up on the streets of Syracuse, one in particular linked to 40 confirmed overdoses this past weekend in the downtown area and the city's southwest side. So troubling. News Channel 9's Madison Moore learning more about the drug xylazine. Madison, what have you found out about it? Well, Jeff and Christy, it's actually a horse tranquilizer. It's used in veterinary medicine as a sedative. It's in the same category as the drug clotidine, typically used to help lower blood pressure. But xylazine has been popping up in the local drug supply over the past year and is often mixed with opioids like fentanyl and heroin. The assistant director for the Upstate New York Poison Center says it's not a drug people are seeking out, but are inadvertently exposed to, with drug makers adding it to make the drug cheaper for distribution. Locally, toxicologists are seeing this drug in about 20% of the heroin and fentanyl supply, but because it's an opioid, it doesn't respond to naloxone, better known as Narcan, used to reverse the effects of an overdose, making this combination of drugs potentially deadly. So one tip off for us would be if the patient looks like they are, you know, exposed to an opioid medication, you give naloxone and there's no response. That's when we start to think about could this be clonidine, could this be xylazine, or are we missing something altogether? It's still unclear whether the fentanyl found in a Brighton Towers apartment where two men overdosed was laced with xylazine. Dr. Mahonski says those results will take five to seven days. Christy? Madison, thank you. And if you or someone you know may be using drugs and need help, you can call the free National Drug and Alcohol Addiction Hotline. It's 844-289-0879. And we will share more ways to get help locally tonight on News Channel 9, 11 at 11.